In this video, let us look at anti-tubercular drugs. So, drugs against tuberculosis, right? Yeah. Tuberculosis is caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis. Okay. And uh, let us look at the anti-tubercular drugs. Based on the clinical utility, based on the clinical utility, Anti-tubercular drugs can be divided into first line and second line. So, you have first line drugs and second line drugs. First line drugs, they have high anti-tubercular efficacy. Second line drugs have low anti-tubercular efficacy. The second line are toxic. They are only used as reserve drugs. First line are having low toxicity and they are highly effective. So, they are used routinely. Low toxicity used routinely. Fine. So, now let us look at the actual drugs. First line of drug, you have isoniazid, rifampicin or they are calling it as rifampin, pyrazinamide, ethambutol, streptomycin. You need to know about these so well. Okay. Second line of uh, drugs, you have fluoroquinolones, Amikacin. What is amikacin? Like streptomycin, gentamicin, aminoglycosides, right? Amikacin, yeah. Then second line of drugs you have um, etho, ethionamide, prothionamide, cycloserine, terizidone, para-aminosalicylic acid, rifabutin, thiaacetone. Zone. I think you can just remember fluoroquinolones, amikacin, etc. Cycloserine. Okay, but first line of drugs, don't forget H R Z E S. H is for isoniazid. Okay, I think if you turn I, it will look like a H. Not sure. Rifampin, pyrazinamide, ethambutol, streptomycin. Can you close your eyes and say this? Isoniazid. Isoniazid. Rifampin. Rifampin. Pyrazinamide. Pyrazinamide. Ethambutol. Ethambutol. Streptomycin. Streptomycin. Very good, very good. So R is rifampicin, no doubt. Ethambutol is E, streptomycin is S, no doubt. Only thing is pyrazinamide Z, isoniazid H, okay? That much you should remember. Then we will move on to isoniazid. We will look at the details of isoniazid. It is actually isonicotinic acid hydroxide. It is a nicotinic acid derivative. It is called as H. Okay. It is denoted by H. Isoniazid is nothing but isonicotinic acid hydroxide. Okay. 300 mg you can see here. Rifampin or rifampicin represented by R. Rifampin shown here. It usually is given as 600 mg. Pyrazinamide, ethambutol, streptomycin S. Ethambutol should not be given to children below 6 years. Second line of anti tb drugs. We saw the names. Fluoroquinolones, amikacin, cycloserin, etc. Then here recommended doses of anti-tubercular drugs, we can see isoniazid 300 mg, rifampin 600 mg, etc. Then we will cover the short course chemotherapy. This is a very, very important question and this one uh, has to be read from the latest textbook. So we need to get the information, latest information and we make the video for this one, short course chemotherapy or DOTS. It comes under dots. Dots is nothing but directly observed treatment, is it? Directly observed treatment, short course therapy, right? Actually, short course chemotherapy. Directly observed treatment, short course chemotherapy. This has been asked over uh, how many times? Five times, okay, under RNTCP, whatever this is there. This has been asked over 5 times for the exam. We will need to read this. What is DOTS? Directly observed treatment, short course chemotherapy under RNTCP. This is very important. 
regimens also they have asked in the exam regimens you will have uh, new patient previously treated the patient pending dst result so something like this hrze that is isoniazid rifampin pyrazinamide ethambutol something like this then you have standardized rntcp regimen for multi drug resistant tuberculosis there you will all use the second line right like you will use uh, cycloserin ofloxacin that is fluoroquinolone correct levofloxacin etc so that's all we will cover in uh, anti tubercular uh, drugs uh, videos let's go into the details in the next video okay so so far we saw the classification first line have very high tubercular anti tubercular efficacy they have low toxicity they are used routinely isoniazid rifampicin pyrazinamide ethambutol streptomycin second line we have seen ofloxacin levofloxacin cycloserin all these they have used yeah then isoniazid that is nothing but isonicotinic acid hydroxide can you say isonicotinic iso iso nicotinic nitokinic nicotinic acid acid hydroxide hydroxide then you have rifampin pyrazinamide etc second line so recommended doses has been also mentioned here Okay, then we are going to look at the dots therapy regimens and regimen for multi drug resistant TB. See you in the next video. Bye bye. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Good.